Good morning. Here's another video in response to an, to an inquiry from a client about shining buttons. Now, um, this was a, a civilian asking about silver buttons on his Charlie jacket, on his Bonnie Prince Charlie, and um, express, he expressed a reluctance to take the buttons off to polish them each time. So that reminded me of an old trick that dates at least from the last century, and in fact from the 1800s, called the button stick. This one's made out of brass. Uh, this, this was my grandfather's, I think. Uh, the name, the Kitchener, on it gives us an idea that this is first, certainly early First World War, possibly earlier. Um, these have long been used by soldiers since, I think, the Napoleonic era, often carved out of bone and other material, because this was a, um, a soldier's craft. These were never issue items, in my, to my knowledge. They're quite easy to use. Um... And they, and I think they also have a necessary military function because more and more young soldiers of my acquaintance are going back to brass buttons instead of the stay bright buttons that they're issued. And I fully understand and appreciate that because you take more, for many of us at least, you take more pride in your turnout if you've had to work hard for it. If you just pull the thing out of the garment bag and put it on, sure, you may look good if it's properly tailored. Um, no more, I'll talk more on that subject later. But if you've put some effort into it, you, you take greater pride in it. So again, more and more, <clears throat> as I said, young serving soldiers of my acquaintance are going back to brass buttons. And in this case, a, a button stick's essential. Incidentally, if you have one of these brass things, you can get them on eBay. If you have one of these brass things, you really need to keep it highly shone as well so that the the oxide that forms on brass doesn't rub off on your material. So when I used this in my service, I kept it very highly polished. But it's easy to use. We slip it. <clears throat> of course, it's easier if you're not going one-handed like I am right now. Oh, for crying out loud. Hang on a minute. Looking through the lens of a camera is particularly awkward. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so the stick goes, as I said, as you can see, the stick goes on the shank of the button, slips under the button. Now, I will slide a piece of cloth under it or put a piece of cloth around my finger, which I can't do one-handed for this video, but you get the impression here. Where you see my finger in the slot would also have a layer of cloth. And now, holding that tight, I can polish the button without fear, unless you are a spectacularly clumsy or unlucky individual, of staining the facing, in this case, of this old coatee. Incidentally, I tend to use a paste... Um, polish rather than a liquid polish because this is sort of a goopy consistency it doesn't run all over the place you don't have the ch you have less risk of it slipping down and staining the cloth so there we go um a good way to uh keep a kit looking sharp cheers